these chips or Liampo chips? Can you smell it? Close it, then turn it on. That was faster than my grandma's wheelchair. Ha ha! Now it's time to feast. Ready? Why you use so much onion? Why? Chicken breast that you're looking for. 
is light and is fluffy. It doesn't have to break down. It cooks very quickly. Cook very quickly is not reason to use an ingredient. You know what else cook very quickly? All of Jamie Oliver recipe. We're adding <sighs> chicken breasts. We're gonna add it. Wait, wait, right just no, no, no. <laughs> marinating the chicken he just throw it in there uncle roger's so upset i put my leg you make all the indian ancestors cry now nephew matty i know marination is so many extra steps but it's important we're gonna put the lid on it one more time and in 10 minutes we're gonna finish this guy chicken breast as soon as that puppy turns white it's cooked little fluffy pillow little what little fluffy pillow Bitch, you a fluffy pillow, hiya. Have you had chicken breast? Chicken breast, drier than my ex-wife. Not fluffy pillow at all. Pillow is comforting and great to cuddle. Opposite of Auntie Helen. What the hell is saying? Ooh, that's hot. Okay, here we go. I need my cream. Cream, correct? Cream. But, 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 that not cream? That, that milk? Or the Uncle Roger C. Wrong? Okay, here we go. I need my cream. Which one's the cream? See, it's same milk. I think this nephew Matty can't read. We have a quarter pound of butter. Okay, you heard butter, correct? Unsalted butter. Butter for butter chicken. At least you have that. So this is still better than Jamie Oliver. Butterless butter chicken. We're gonna put it in. And we're gonna stir that butter. We need that butter. Too yellow, too much turmeric. Now, look at that sauce consistency. That's what you're looking for. It's nice and thick. What? Where got thick? Thick! Where got thick? See again? Nice and thick. No, that sauce just so trippy. Butter chicken sauce should not be like that. You can hold it up and it won't just run. That sauce so thin, a club bouncer will let it in for free. Butter chicken is good to go. G T. GTG, what that stand for? Going to garbage. This is the. We're just gonna take some cilantro. Cilantro on top. Uh, that a bit weird. Oh. Nephew Matty gets so many things wrong about butter chicken. So much misinformation. I thought I was watching Joe Rogan podcast. And also needs a nephew. Do you realize he never even adds salt to this dish? Salt? Put some salt or MSG or something, nephew Matty. And no cashew paste in this butter chicken. Where the richness? Use milk instead of cream. And he used olive oil. Hiya. But worst mistake of all, he didn't marinate the chicken. The chicken come from farm an hour ago and he made Uncle Roger fried rice better. Uncle Roger be the judge of that. Niece and nephew, Uncle Roger, you two speakery is now live. Put this little Uncle Roger on your desk and people know you're good at making rice. Go buy it now, link in description. They even have free international shipping. That right, they ship this to you for free. Postman don't even get paid. Go buy this speakery now because once this design sold out, then no more this design. <laughs> For the record, I actually love Uncle Roger. I've watched him multiple times and I find it very interesting. Oh, thank you, thank you, nephew Joshua. He even dressed up like me for you. But his orange polo, not the same as Uncle Roger orange polo. I just get from random shop, but his orange polo has that little man on horse logo. The holy grail of rice cookery is a beautiful rice cookery. <gasps> it's Uncle Roger hallucinating. This is first white guy with rice cooker. Uncle Roger in pest because he using same brand of rice cooker as Uncle Roger. If this one, the Soji Rushi baby elephant fan. If Uncle Roger go to your house and I see you have baby elephant rice cooker, I know your rice gonna be good. But this rice cooker may be too expensive for some niece and nephew. If niece and nephew poor, just buy random $25 rice cooker and then get Soji Rushi when you have your shit together. This is my Soji Rushi and the link will be in the description. To make the rice, place a nice medium grain <gasps> white. Colander. Rice in a metal 
one sieve, set up for a bowl, fill it up with water, toss. Okay, okay. He just using colander to wash rice, not to drain rice like BBC food. This one okay. But look at him, so much equipment just to wash rice. Uncle Rod had equipment to wash rice. Hi. Place it in a rice cooker and add roughly equal parts of water. This was two cups of medium grain, so I used about two cups of filtered water. But you can always use the finger test. Ah, he used finger, used finger, not bad. Now close the lid, start the rice cooker, dance to the song of its people. Uncle Roger, rice cooker, sing the same song also. See? Before K-pop, this is all Uncle Roger listen to rice cooker pop. For our fried rice sauce, get a small bowl, add a one inch knob of karangal that's been finely grated, one teaspoon of sesame oil, one tablespoon of Malaysian sambal, three cloves of finely chopped garlic, one tablespoon of sweet soy sauce, and one and a half tablespoons of double aged soy sauce. This sauce looks good, better than cowboy cat secret sauce. Ingredient all correct, but why he measuring everything high? One tablespoon of one teaspoon of three cloves of one and a half tablespoons. I think he have to learn from Uncle Roger, favorite chef, chef one. When you're a great chef, you don't measure things, you just throw. Let's use Joshua. Just chunk measure this, measure that, so anal. And he wash rice with that special colander machine equipment thing. Hi, yeah. Now you have 25 more things you have to wash up. I think. Fried rice. But first, let me show you my walks. Gordon might have two walks, but I have three walks. For you, like Uncle Gordon. Nephew Joshua is walk fuck boy also. Mm. I hope he more faithful to his girlfriend than to his walk. Fill it with about three cups of vegetable oil and your shallots and begin constantly stirring with chopsticks. And as soon as your shallots begin to reach a golden brown, immediately remove them from the oil and those are your fried shallots. Now, Uncle Roger think this crunchy texture go well with egg fried rice. Give it good mouth feel. Now, let's finish this bad boy off. Get your most beautiful, big, juicy wok. He Joshua turned on by his walk more than he turned on by his girlfriend. I wonder how their relationship is. Nephew Joshua, do you use finger tests on your girlfriend also? Drizzle in three tablespoons of vegetable oil and begin heating over medium high. Swirl the oil around your wok and keep heating. He's seasoning the wok. Good. You're supposed to pour your oil out. From there, I added three and a half tablespoons of cold smoked duck fat. Cold smoked duck fat. Fui yo. So fancy. You literally just take some rendered out duck fat, place it in a small bowl, wrap it in plastic wrap, insert a tube of a cold smoke gun, such as a Breville. Nephew Joshua just flexing on us right now. First the little man on horse polo, then the Rolex, then the cold smoke gun. Hiya. Who this cooking me, Joe, for? Billionaire people. Uncle Roger didn't know I have to own a yacht to watch this video. I think he made so much money from all the Bitcoin he bought. Wrap it in plastic wrap and insert a tube of a cold smoke gun, such as. And the way he loading this smoke gun, I can tell nephew Joshua smoked weed before. Garnish. But at least he not putting green onions first thing into pan like Jamie Oliver. And stir fry over medium heat till all of your vegetables are beautifully softened and. Okay, look like the green onion, not wilting. Good, good, this one okay. Crack two to three large eggs, whisk them together till homogenized, then add them to your stir-fried vegetables. Add three and a half to four cups of already cooked cold rice. Then add two teaspoons of brown white pepper and two teaspoons of, you guessed it, Mmm, that is the most beautiful sight to see the waterfall of MSG go into the ranks. Fuyo, so nice. When Uncle Roger go to therapy and they ask me to think of my happy place, this is it. But again, nephew Joshua, don't need measure. Just sprinkle, just sprinkle. Two teaspoons of... What is with this teaspoon, tablespoon, half cup bullshit? You're making egg fried rice, not developing vaccine for COVID. No need measure. Toss it all together, turn off the heat, and finally grab some strawberry jam what? and... That's a joke. That's a joke, alright? Uncle Roger thought he all stepped correct so far, but then suddenly joined the dark side with Jamie Oliver and his chili jam. <sighs> Almost gave Uncle Roger heart attack. Not gonna make that mistake. 
phone just cold. Just add your fried rice sauce from earlier. Stir and toss that together until evenly good, distributed. Good. And then just pop your fried rice onto a nice plate. Hit it with your incredibly quick beef fried shallots. Some thinly sliced green. Ah, oh, green onion as garnish again. That correct? That good. So he's powerful green onion. Not bad. Can we taste test this? Okay, so. Oh, we saw how that video went. Spoon. Correct, correct. In Asia, many people we eat rice with spoon. Uncle Roger don't know why in Western country so many people eat rice with fork. They use fork to scoop up rice. Fork for poking, not scooping. You want to scoop, you use spoon. Use right tool for right purpose. Do you also use hair dryer to blow leaves? Hi, uh, niece and nephew. If rice in bowl, eat with chopstick. Flavor fried rice that I've had. The one that Uncle Roger did looks very good, but it's also very basic in flavor. This is intense. It's a layered. It's got many, many layers of flavor. Uncle Roger, I want to know how did I do? This egg fried rice, so many steps. Got deep frying. Got cold smoke back fat. Take too long if you have hungry kids and you make Joshua egg fried rice. He starves to death. Uncle Roger fried rice is basic, but you can do much more work. But taste wise, approve. Uncle Roger will call him Uncle Joshua. But I know he also likes to be called Papa. Papa don't like Papa keys. Papa's favorite cheat code, trust me. But Papa Joshua sound a bit sexual. I just feel bad for his cleaner. Need to clean up 45 different measuring bowl. If you good chef, next time just throw random shit in pan. Because if you measure so many things, too many things to clean, People see your recipe, they don't want to cook it. Not everybody can afford cleaner and Rolex like you. You want to know what else is full of perfectly cooked rice and beautiful long-haired men? B-roll. Hip-hop is best music for egg fire rice. <laughs> don't worry, Uncle Roger single. Very confident. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Uncle Roger. Hi, yeah, no feeling. Why you look so sudden today? Did you go on holiday or something? S E F S important S M S G. Not long ago, I made an amazing ramen. And according to Uncle Roger, I hit about four out of the five steps properly, only missing the aroma oil. But aside from potentially missing one of those steps, Uncle Roger had a few other reservations about the video. He said that I should not be spanking anything, no food, no nothing in videos down the road. Don't spank your dinner. Get room and spank your girlfriend. Don't need to see your phone. 
No, 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 Lucky. I finished them all. That was even better than the lechon I had last week. Air fried lampo chips. Air fried prawns. Two thumbs up. Goodbye.